We're now in the garden of the Scottish Parliament. Just around the corner from here, we actually have our own beehives that supply the Parliament with honey. I take you to see them, but I'm hardly dressed for the occasion. The company who look after our bees have actually supplied the beeswax for the seal and the axe of the Scottish Parliament since its inception. In the distance, you see Holyrood Park, a site studied by the famous geologist of the 18th century, James Hutton. Along here, we have the Members' Building. These are the offices used by the members of the Scottish Parliament. It's thought the building's design was inspired by the tenements across Scotland. Tenements are tightly packed rows of houses or apartments, and this, a tightly packed row of offices that goes up several floors. But at the heart of our garden is the garden itself. This is a traditional design popular during the 17th century called a knot garden. It features different type of Scottish plants, and over here, a row of apple and pear trees. They actually produce fruit, and that fruit is made available to staff in our staff restaurant. The whole garden is overlooked by Queensbury House. And in fact, the location of our garden is where Queensbury House had its own in the past. And our apple and pear trees are a nod to the orchards once owned by the Duke of Queensbury himself.